Hello, pupils. How are you today? I hope you're feeling great and fine. Because God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. I am teacher Crystalline A. Riponte, and I am your English teacher. I hope that you are all excited with our lesson and discussion today. In English for Grade 1, Quarter 3, Week 7. But before that, we always remember our online rules. Number 1. Meeting rules. Be on time. Number two, mute your microphone if you are not told to on. Number three, find a quiet place. Number four, strictly no pets allowed. Number five, please show positive attitude. Number six, no foods or drinks allowed. And now, let's discuss the lesson I can talk. In this lesson, let us learn the competency of talk oneself, one's family, and one's personal experiences. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to learn the following. Number one, share about oneself, one's family, and one's personal experiences. And number two, talk confidently about oneself, one's family, and one's personal experiences. Let us try if you can still remember our past lesson. Our activity is you are going to answer it orally. Just turn on your microphone if you want to answer. Number one. You want to borrow the toys of your friend. What will you say? Very good! The answer is... May I borrow your toys? Number two. Father give you a gift. What will you say? Perfect! The answer is... Thank you, Father, for the gift. Number three. You meet your teachers early in the morning. What will you say? Perfect. The answer is, Good morning, teachers. Perfect. You got it right. You are now ready for the new lesson. I know that everyone of us wants to share to our family and friends what we like and dislike. We want to share to our friends our favorite food, color, and habits to them. Now, let's have an activity. In this activity class, you are going to introduce yourself by filling up your personal data below and paste your picture as learner in the face part of the illustration. Here is the activity. The name of this activity is 
It's all about me. There, you can see the picture. And in the face part of the picture, you paste your own picture. And write your name in the part, my name is blank. Another. There, you can read also, I am blank years old. So, in that part, you are going to write your age or how old are you. Another. There's also a cake written, my birthday is blank. So, in that part, you are going to write the date of your birthday. Another. There's also the picture of a house written, I live in blank. In that part, you are going to write the address of your home. Another. You can see there the picture of a crayon. And written there is my favorite color is. And I know everyone has their favorite color. So you write your favorite color there. Another. You can see there the picture of a four. A plate and a spoon. And in the plate written, favorite food is blank. Now, children, there you are going to write your favorite food. Now, let's have another activity. So, here we are going to read a story. Listen attentively to the story as I read it. Understand, class? Very good. So here is the story. The grade one Rizal pupils introduced themselves one by one in the class. Each pupil shares their story about their favorite toy. Here we go. I am Ben. I am a boy. I am six years old. I have a red car. I love playing my red car. I put it in the box after playing. Now, let's have questions to be answered. So you are going to answer the questions and color the box of your choice. Number one, who is the boy in the story? Is that Ben? Dan? Ben? Very good. The answer is Ben. What is his toy? Is that car, ball, or doll? Very good again. The answer is car. Number three. What is the color of his toy car? Again, what is the color of his toy car? Is that red, blue, or yellow? Good job! The answer is red. Another, number four. Where does he put his toy car? Where does he put his toy car? Is that in the box? In the basket or inside the bag? The answer is 
in the box. Very good. Number five. Why do you need to keep your toys after playing? I keep my toys after playing because I take care of my toys. I keep my toys after playing because I want them to throw. I keep my toys after playing because I don't want to share it with my friends. The answer is very good. I keep my toys after playing because I take care of my toys. Now, let's have another activity. Are you ready to read the story with me, class? Okay, very good. Let's start to read the story. This is my father. His name is Alex. Father leaves the house early in the morning to plant rice. He works hard for our family. This is my mother. She is Mila. She cooks food for us. She takes good care of the family. This is my sister. She is Anne. She helps mother the chores in our home. This is my brother. He is John. He helps father in feeding the chicken. I am Ben. I help my sister Anne and brother John in their chores. We are happy helping each other in our family. Now, we have here some questions to be answered. Number one, who works hard for the family? A. Father B. Ben C. Sister Very good! The answer is letter A. Father Number 2. Who cooks food for everyone? Again, who cooks food for everyone? A. Sister B. Mother C. Brother Perfect! The answer is letter B. Mother Number 3 Who helps mother do the chores at home? Again, who helps mother do the chores at home? Letter A. Brother Letter B. Sister Letter C. Ben Correct! The answer is Letter B. Sister Now, number 4 Who feeds the chicken? Who feeds the chicken? Letter A Brother, letter B, Ben, letter C, sister. Okay, good job. The answer is letter A, brother. And now, number five. Do you help your brother and sister in the chores at home? Letter A, you are going to write the happy face. Letter B, you are going to write the sad face. And letter C, 
you are going to write the quiet face. If you are going to help them, so you are going to answer letter A, a happy face. If you are not helping them, so you answer is letter B or the sad face. And if you are you're not helping or you're not answering letter A or letter B, you choose letter C, so you are choosing the quiet face or why not talk? What's the reason? So now let's have another activity again. Now it is your time to introduce your family with the help of your parents. So, you are going to paste your family picture in the box below. Then, answer the question that follow. The picture that you are going to paste is the picture of your family. Very good. So, it includes your father, mother, your sister, your brother, and other siblings in the family. Now, answer the question that follow. Number one, what is your name? I am blank. So in this part, in this question, you are going to write your name. Number two, how old are you? So, you are going to answer, I am blank years old. Number three, where do you live? I live in blank. So, right here in this question, the address that you have in your home. Number three. What grade are you in? What grade are you in? I am in grade blank. So what grade are you in now? Are you in grade 1? So you are going to write there. So let's us practice more. Draw a happy face in the box if you like to do it or a sad face if you do not want to do it. So, this activity is getting to know myself. So, draw a happy face in the box again if you like to do it or if you do not want to do it, draw a sad face. Here, number one. I want to read a story. If you want to read a story, you are going to write what? Very good. A happy face. But if you do not, you write a sad face. Another. I want to listen to music. I want to listen to music. If you want to listen to music, you write a happy face very good and if you do not want to listen to the music you are going to write a sad face play with my friends you are going to write a happy face if you want to play with your friends and a sad face if you do not want to play with your friends I want to draw a cat Draw a happy face if you do not if you want to draw a cat and a sad face if you do not want to draw a cat. I want to dance. So you are going to draw a happy face if you want to dance and a sad face if you do not want to dance. Play computer games. Again, play computer games. If you want to play a computer game, what you are going to write? Okay, a happy face and a sad 
face if you do not want to play a computer games. I like washing dishes. Okay, again, you are going to write a happy face if you want to wash the dishes or do you like to wash the dishes and a sad face if you do not want to wash the dishes. Now, get, getting to know myself. Again, you are going to answer this. I like flying kites. I like flying kites. Draw again the happy face if you want to fly kites and a sad face if you do not like to fly kites. I like sweeping the floor. I like sweeping the floor. Draw a happy face if you like to sweep the floor. And a sad face if you do not like. Another. I like helping mother and father. I like helping mother and father. Again, you are going to draw a happy face if you like to help mother and father. And a sad face if you do not like to help them. Okay, class, let us always remember that knowing oneself is important. It helps you to discover your likes and dis dislikes, your hobbies and interests. Furthermore, it is also important to know about your family. Like, like how many are you in the family? The name of your father, mother, sisters, and brothers. Now let us assist ourselves. I can talk. So here, you are going to answer this. Okay, so either your parents or I will be the one to ask the questions to you. And you will going to answer it. So use, I will use or your mother will use rubrics in giving points to your answer. So in this activity, you are going to use mirror for assessment. So let the learner or you are going to face the mirror as you answer. Now, answer this question. What is your name? Learner, you answer, I am blank. So you answer your name. The question, another question, how old are you? Again, you answer, I am blank years old. Okay, your parent also will ask you, where do you live? So you are going to answer, I live in... So the address of your home. Who is your father? Who is your father? So the learner, you will answer, My father is blank. So you are going to tell who is the, your father or the name of your father. Another, who is your mother? So, here you are going to answer or tell us who is your mother. Another question, what grade are you in? So, you are going to answer, I am in grade 1 section. So, tell us about your section. Okay, another question, who is your teacher? Who is your teacher? My teacher is blank. So, you tell us what is the name of your teacher. What is the name of your school? What is the name of your school? So, tell us about the name of your school. So, you will tell 
the name of my school is blank. Another question. Are you a boy or a girl? Your answer? Yes, I am a blank. So you will answer if you are a boy, you will answer yes, I am a boy. And if you are a girl, you will answer yes, I am a girl. Now, this is the rubric to be used by your parents in assessing you. Okay, so you get one point if you are going to start to stand and face on the mirror. Two points if you are going to stand face on the mirror and trying to say after the parent or teacher. You are given three points if... You are or awkwardly follow your parent or your teacher with the answer. Number four, you are four points to be given if the child will follow or you are following with your parent or your teacher but without confidence. And you are given five points if you are going to answer correctly with the questions without the help from your parent or from your teacher with confidence. So that's the basis of your score. Now, let us enhance. Draw your favorite food inside the box and color it. So... We have here, or you have here in your module, the box. So there you are going to draw your favorite food inside the box. And don't forget to color it. Another, fill in the blanks. So you are going to answer these questions. My favorite food is blank. So what have you draw? in the box so you are going to answer the question i love to eat blank so what food did you are going to love to eat my mother cooks blank for me so what food that your mother cooked for you do you want to eat my blank so you are asking if somebody or someone wants to eat your favorite food. Another, let us reflect. So draw your favorite toy in the box and color it. Another, fill with the blank with your answer. This is my favorite toy. This is a blank. So, your favorite toy that you have drawn there is blank. So, right here, your answer. My blank gave this toy to me during my birthday. So, you answer if who's the one who gave you the toy during your birthday? Another. So, that ends our class today. And I hope that you are enjoying. And thank you so much, class, for your cooperation and understanding of the lesson that we have today. God bless us all.